Hey guys, Wolfen Vic here, or Steven. Welcome back to another video game review. Today we're going to be looking at The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. It's a very curious game that we're looking at today. It's a walking simulator. Ah, it's just kid. Well, sort of. It's an interesting um, mix. It is still kind of that same walking simulator uh, formula we've gotten used to now. But at the same time, they've added a few more puzzle elements to kind of make it more of a game. Ethan Carter, I didn't know. But he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. And that's where the game starts taking some interesting turns. But I'm not going to discuss that. Instead, I'm just going to kind of point out that this game is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It is, uh, was originally an Unreal product. I think it was Unreal 3. And then they transported it over to Unreal 4, and it got even more amazing. The soundscape is amazing. It is... Absolutely one of my favorite games to just go, sit down, and just stare off into the distance for a while. It is so easy to do and it is absolutely amazing of an experience. Overall, I must say, the Vanishing of the Card does kind of surprise you with the puzzles and it does kind of keep you on your toes. It takes a little bit of work to kind of work through the puzzles and figure them out and kind of logically try and apply a mindscape to it, but at the same time, be careful, you might overthink it. I've played through the game about three times myself, and I actually recently went through with a friend and kind of, for the sake of time and for her own sanity, I helped her along at points and kind of gave her direction. But it was interesting seeing somebody else's ideas and what they thought they would look at because it was kind of be interesting to see how other people might play this. So if you're someone who is actively someone who likes to explore and kind of go around an entire location and spend tons of time just Seeing what a world has to offer, I definitely think you should pick up The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Sure, you can grab it on sale, but The Astronauts is an amazing company. Um, if you go find their Tumblr, or maybe even just their website, they have blogs detailing how the game was made, the new technology they worked with to try and make the game happen. Absolutely amazing. I definitely suggest going and checking it out. They're a really cool company. Uh, I wish them best of luck on their new title. It looks like it's just taking... The Vanishing of Ethan Carter's kind of world building and just blowing it into like a first person shooter or whatever you want to call that. I wish them the best of like it sounds like and looks like an amazing title. Anyway, if you want to, you can also pick it up on Steam. As I mentioned, really cool game, amazing atmosphere. A very curious story. Um, I would definitely suggest trying to get through it. If not, don't worry. Just explore the world and enjoy yourself. Anyway, with this final glance at a lake, and then at me. Hi, hi, welcome back. I'm sorry. I had to take you out of that moment. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'm Wolf and Vic, or Steven. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and till next time, this is Steven, signing out. Back to the lake.